Once an agent is activated on the network, Domote starts to perform device discovery by using ARP scans and ARP pings and will find all the devices connected to the private networks the agent can reach. An easy way to see which networks your agent is scanning is to look at the inventory dashboard and check the network setup column. For each agent, you can view the specific details for attached networks, routed networks, and external hosts. To help you better understand these terms, an attached network is a network where the network interface card of your agent's host is physically attached to the LAN or VLAN. We often refer to this as a Layer 2 connection. In this case, the Domots agent is doing Layer 2 scanning of the F0 interface and found this to be a slash 22 SIDO. Yet, it also shows the host NIC is configured for scanning VLAN 10 and VLAN 68. A routed network is one where the agent's host is not physically connected to a specific network, but can see other devices on the network through managed switch routing and configurations. This is often referred to as Layer 3 routing, which allows the agent to see IP addresses of devices through standard TCP slash IP protocols, but MAC address information is not returned through the network. In this example, the agent is scanning outside its local area network to look at the modem, which is on a separate subnet and is only looking at one IP address, as it is set to a slash 32 CIDR. As you can imagine, external hosts are servers or machines that are outside your local area network. The benefit of external host monitoring is that you can use domain names or IP addresses to check the status of servers or systems outside your LAN. Looking here, you can see that this agent is configured to look at a few well-known external hosts, such as Google and Cloudflare. It is important to understand that by default, Domotes is able to scan networks up to a slash 22 subnet mask. If the network is larger than a slash 22 CIDR, you will need to contact our support team. It is possible to configure the agent with what we call big network scanning, which can handle up to slash 16 CIDR. If this is of interest to you, please contact our support team via email at support at domotes.com. After this initial scan, which can take from 5 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of your network, Domotes will classify your devices by make, model, and type using its internal MAC address database. From the agent's device list, you can view each device, and when accessing a device's information tab, you will be able to see the device brand and model, as well as how Domotes classified this device. If you want, you can change the details of each device to fit your needs better. If you are using the Domotes desktop application, instead of the web-based application, Domotes will allow you to export the device list into an Excel formatted file. You can export the complete device list by accessing the device list section of any site, then click on Import Export, and then Export Device List. This will trigger the download of an Excel file. Once opened in Excel, all the devices Domotes has discovered in that network will be displayed per device per row, along with all their properties listed in their respective columns. This feature is really important when you perform your first inventory assessment for onboarding a new client, and you want to get an accurate list of all devices and endpoints really quickly. Also note that you can use this list to update device information, such as location, zone, or other device details, then import it back into Domotes using the Import button. All the modified fields will populate automatically. This is a fast way to onboard and update the new networks you are monitoring. As you can see, Domotes is great at performing inventory asset tasks like asset discovery and inventory management. At the same time, it lets you connect and synchronize your assets through third-party integrations such as IT Glue, Hudu, IT Portal, Synchro, Halo, and more.